Zaga said that he and your friends are making good progress through the jungle. Trust me, this is worth the wait. And here it is. A salvaged basilisk war droid. Mandalore said that he would make it available to you for insertion into the city of Aziz. I assure you, they won't know what hit them. Yes, just like a new Mandalorian recruit proving themselves into the heart of a war as well. Mandalore has given you a great honor. Unfortunately, its weapons systems aren't fully functional yet, as are some other unimportant support systems. But she will get you to Isis in one piece. The fighters won't be able to stop that. Minor systems. Nothing you need concern yourself with. We've modified the interior to hold three people. Maybe a little tight. You need to leave immediately. Isis is in the grip of a civil war, so there'll be considerable resistance. They remember the last time Basilisk war droids visited their planet. Fight ferociously. And if you die, take as many as you can with you. Basilisk? A basilisk here? Mandalorians are attacking the city! Talia has made an alliance with the Mandalorians. I you remember us. Offworlder. Come, we have no time. Backloose forces have overrun the sky ramp. The royal palace could fall any minute. We must save the queen. Your plan seems to have succeeded. Your enemy has indeed revealed himself. I anticipated the Sith. Those beasts. Those beasts weren't in my battle plan. Even now, Vaklu is using them to breach the palace. I will not surrender to that usurper. I would die first. Every man here would give their life to keep that from happening. There is hope. It is faint, but growing stronger. I think my message was received. Which message? What are you talking about? An old student is returning. I don't think the Sith are going to know what hit them. This way! This way to the sky ramp!
There are two force shield checkpoints along this path. Vaclu's forces have held this ramp for over a standard hour. That means they control the checkpoints now. If we can get to the turret tower up ahead, we can deactivate the first barrier. The forces we're encountering right now are their rear guard. The fighting will get tougher the closer we get to the front of the battle line. in the bunker are contained. We deploy as soon as the reinforcements arrive. A Jedi? Here? Men, attack! Come on, we need reinforcements. A Jedi Knight is assaulting our flank. Hold the line! Attack, men. Attack! Control of the security grid. He blew up that power conductor. Their slicer has to be using a palace security terminal. They've already locked down all secondary computer systems on the sky ramp. Until we deal with their slicer in the palace, you can bet that there will be more surprises up ahead. Is the Jedi still? We're under attack, man!
We've taken the palace. Natalia's blood. The beast's progress is remarkable, but it will take time, General. The throne room's force shields are far stronger than mine. Our plans go well, Tobin, but we are still vulnerable until she is dead. Even now, redouble your efforts. News from the city. As you command, General. Good, some reinforcements. Follow the Jedi. We're gonna retake the palace. We've got to stop General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. with. The second force shield is up ahead. It looks like it's been damaged by orbital bombardment. 
Uh, you might be able to bash your way through it with your lightsaber. Good, some reinforcements. Follow we've She's still alive. Run! Run! shield is
Ahead is the throne room. We must get to the Queen to protect her. If you're heading to the palace, we'll follow you there. The palace itself has been breached. We've made it to the palace. General Vaclo's troops haven't been here too long. Hopefully, we still have time to save the Queen. Straight ahead is the throne room. Vaclo's hand-picked troops will probably be here. I'm gonna stay here and keep the intersection secure. If any more Royalists arrive, I'll keep them organized. Shut the outer door, now! I'm impressed you made it this far, but you're too late. Soon the Queen will be dead, and General Vaclo will be the new king. This is no ordinary door between us. The same material is used for the hull of capital-class vessels. I'm afraid you will find it quite impregnable. I'm afraid it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, we have one last barrier to take care of. Gather our forces. Make sure the defenses are set. Colonel Tobin says the Jedi is coming our way. Take your beasts and attack her. We need more time to prepare. I'm going to the control room. Perhaps the captain can be persuaded to cooperate.
I don't have time for your resistance, Captain Riken. We need the override code for the palace shields. And I told you that I don't know. You scan my ID, you know my post is a merchant quarter. I'm sure that's what you'd like me to believe. I have been authorized to use any means at my... Blast! Defend the security room with your lives! The Jedi could ruin everything. I don't have time for your and I to blah. <laughs> Listo Park Norcha, Lusni Hacha Batishi Jord. Cavotumpe a Botenia, Dachi Morotacha Kamsa. 
Bawan Maderancha, you come most croon. Nande mi soku kuran marendin krabanos. Bram tabanin socho. Da come jus mak miki baranye do so so rica chodi. Kavadumpa, mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba. Sura dachi morutuko kaisa. Yatuka u wan rika chotin wanima orata wakata ji umalizba. Bram tabanin sochu. Da come jus mak miki baranye do so so rika chondin. Wana magrable mogo. Kavadumpa, mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba. Sura dachi morutuko kansa. Kavanata kalu! Yatuka, uo wanrika chotin wani... Kavadumpa, mo wendido choker... Yes. Yes. Very well. You again? Seems you've made a habit out of cleaning up our messes. Don't suppose you could help a fellow out here. If you've ever been in one of these, you know they aren't too comfortable. So you don't need to tell me about that. Thanks for coming. Backloon's troops aren't very good hosts. If you could get me out of here, I'd be doubly thankful. Should be pretty easy to do. The primary security console for the Royal Palace is just over there. It controls the force cage. I think that slicer is still logged in. So you should have full access to everything. If you could hurry, it's been a long day. Thank you. Now that you've got me out, you need to get the primary security console's override code, then lock the terminal down. Once you've got that code, if you can get to the secondary security station, you'll control the entire palace's security systems. The slicer's still logged into his account. You should be able to just get whatever you need. Yatuka u wanrika chotin wanima orata wakata ji lumanifa. Bram tabu. Kavadumpa.
Tell the Colonel we'll need more of our men to smoke the Royalists out of their hole. I don't trust those Sith or their beasts. And another thing, if I catch any more of my men looting, then the Queen's Guard will be the least of your worries. <laughs>
Thanks for your help. Queen Talia is the right I don't know how you made it, but well done. Come in quickly before more Sith or Vaklu troops arrive. We got split off from Talia's troops by the currents of this war. We really need to talk, but Kadron and I are coordinating the defense of the war. I know Captain Kadron needs someone to handle a dangerous assignment. He's in the other room. Talk to him. No one else could do the job. Even if there wasn't a civil war going on, I can only say so much. We'll talk later. Now, every moment counts. We'll talk when all of this is over. Until then, may the Force be with you. So, you're the Jedi, eh? Well, the comm chatter we've intercepted is filled with reports about you. You fought right through their flank on the Sky Ramp? We desperately need someone like you. We've managed to hold this part of the palace, but Vaklu's forces control the rest. We need to get to the Queen before that flaming Drexel breaks through the inner door. There are two security consoles in the palace. The primary security console is on the other side of the palace. There's an expert slicer over there who's been hampering our every move. We need to transfer all primary functions to our terminal here, then disable the primary security console. That will also take their slicer out of the picture. After that, we'll control security again. We can get to General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. You have? Oh, son of Mudrak! Corporal, use this code to open the outer door to the throne room. The door's open. Hurry! They might break through the inner door at any moment.
Will you just die already? You will go no further than this. You're too late. Our pet beast is about to breach the force field to the throne room. The queen will be dead in moments. Watch out! I've lost control of the beast! Ignore the beast! Into the throne room! The queen must die! Oh, blast it all! Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you, and now your life is forfeit. You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Batlu. The Republic, ISIS, everything. That is a gross simplification, Talia. Change is a painful process. A price must be paid. But Onderon will have a new destiny, one larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Vaklu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Damn you! Your skill with the blade won't save you from my men. Goodbye, Talia. Fire! What? The Jedi lives? But how? Kill her and the Queen Men. Quickly. 
They must not be allowed to live. You've won this battle, Talia. But your reign won't be an easy one. The Republic is a sinking ship, and you're too attached to it. He's too dangerous to leave alive. As distasteful as it is, it might be best to silence him forever. Until he's dead, all of Onderon is in peril. You're a fool. Your companion is right. Fine. Send me to your best detention cell. I will be free within the week. And vengeance will be mine. Aren't you forgetting who is Queen Vaklu? I appreciate the Jedi's counsel, but as monarch, I decree you are guilty of treason. The punishment is death, to be carried out immediately. Captain Cadron? Talia, you can't. You're... but you're... you're too weak. What about my trial? But he will rise again. He has too many supporters. I do appreciate your counsel, but he must be killed. But the price if you are wrong. I thought I could order this, but I can't. It would be breaking our laws. You will stand trial, Vaklu. Take him away. What is done is done. I don't think the service you have given us can ever be repaid. I must go with Captain Cadron. The fighting must be stopped. I will be back shortly to try and repay you. The crisis is over thanks to you and Master Kavar. I believe he'd like to speak to you, if you'll excuse me. a mortal one, though it has been some time since I exercised my healing powers. There is a shred of life within you still. A gift from your master, no doubt. Awaken, Colonel Tobin. Your part in this is not over. Colonel Tobin, I am with Vaklu. The war has gone against him. He sent me to rescue you, to tell you you must make haste off planet. The Jedi have struck. They had a secret academy buried on Telos, and they are showing themselves at last. We are all in danger. What? But the Jedi are gone. They have all but vanished. So we all thought, but they have hidden themselves on Telos. Out of my way, old woman. This war can still be won, and Onderon can be freed. Indeed. This war is far from over. Queen has requested you stay here until she gets back. I imagine you'll get some sort of reward. Talk with Master Kavar. She shouldn't take too long. The Queen has requested you stay here and talk... The Queen has requested you stay here talk with... The Queen has requested you to talk with The Force works in mysterious ways, it seems. There are times I'm not convinced it doesn't have a sense of humor. We spend all this time looking for you, and you came to us. 
I thought you might return to Onderon. Looks like just in time. I told the other masters that our only chance to figure out what was happening to us was to find you and try to understand what happened to you. I don't know how much you know about this threat that's striking at the Jedi. It's attacking us through the Force. Varuk didn't believe me, but he was willing to travel to Dantooine if only to help the settlers there and perhaps protect what was left of the Jedi Enclave. Whatever the reason, having us all drop out of sight, I thought might make the enemy more bold. But then you happened. You came back, and you became a new target for whoever was attacking us. They were places touched by war, and we thought there was a chance you would return to these worlds, if only to try and make peace with what happened there during the war. But now the Sith have revealed themselves. That means the remaining Jedi will gather on Dantooine. From there, we can counterattack. Telos? But Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. I heard they're trying to rebuild. Atris? I thought Atris had gone to Qatar. Too many Jedi have scattered. The Council needs to gather. We cannot remain concealed any longer. We knew that someone was preying on us, hunting us. Finally, the Jedi decided to take action and called a secret conclave on Qatar to decide what must be done. Before the meeting could even begin, all the Jedi on the planet were killed, along with the Miralukas and all other life on the planet. Their deaths could be felt throughout the galaxy. So the Council decided that we must not present ourselves as a target again. The consequences to others were just too great that we should use our resources to find who was responsible and deal with them. I think you're the only one who's made progress. The difficulties you surmounted to get here, you must have many questions. You deserve answers. You always had deep connections to the Force. I'm glad to see that it is once again your ally. When I first sparred with you during your training as a Padawan, I could tell that you were different. And it wasn't just your strong connection to the Force. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Cut you off from the Force? Why do you think the Council was responsible for that? No, I'm afraid the cause of your condition was as great a mystery to the Council as it is to you. Whatever I can tell... There was nothing else we could do. You defied the Council. You followed Revan to war. I know why you did it, but in so doing, much more harm was done. But you must understand, the Exile was never the punishment you thought it to be. We could not have made you do such a thing in any event. I think you knew, inside, what you needed to do in order to heal. All those lives during the Mandalorian Wars, and all those you served beside, too much death leaves echoes in the Force. It is the price for having such connections. I suspect that is why you chose to accept the Council's judgment, to wander beyond the Rim, and why you traveled with no one and did not stay in any place too long. I have thought of you since your trial, and there are times when I wonder if being connected to the Force is always the gift it is believed to be. Whatever I can... I know that all too well. I came here to find them, to trace them to their source, the war on Duxon and Onderon. I had thought that perhaps the tragedies that occurred here were concealing them. The Jedi Order has been fighting the dark side since the beginning. Our rules and the Jedi Code provide protection from what's inside each of us. The dark side is always there, and it is something that can never truly be defeated. I feel our current troubles, though, are beyond what we faced before. This threat that is targeting us, drawing us out, it's not a battle we're used to, and it has ended many of us. Not enough. I feel it is something that was born from the wars that have struck the Republic. The threat is Sith, but the manner and timing of their attacks is difficult to defend against. We don't know all that the Sith planned during the Jedi Civil War. What secret training grounds may still remain. What worlds he discovered. We just don't know. Even after we deal with this current threat, I fear we may be dealing with the legacy of the Jedi Civil War for years to come. You've had more success than I. General Vaklu's men and their allies effectively kept me pinned inside the palace. 
I felt all along that Vaklu had contacted the Sith, but the identity and purpose of the Sith, that I can't say. Whatever I can tell... It's a long story, but there's a reason the Jedi have scattered across the galaxy. We've come to worlds such as this one. Worlds touched by war, or great tragedies. We thought that by traveling to such worlds, it would help conceal us from the eyes of the enemy. And they were places we thought we might find you. Whatever... That sounds like the bond that often forms between master and apprentice. But to that degree? You always did form connections to others. Strong ones. Even when you were a student. But what you are describing is beyond me. I'm sure others in the Jedi Council would be able to assist you. If you could find them. Whatever I can... So, you heard what we said. And these questions I cannot answer. This is something the Council must answer. Not I. You must understand. This is hard for me. Especially after all you've done. But it is necessary. Did you know that when I was training you, I considered making you my Padawan? I didn't. The demands of the Jedi Council were too great. And you even became a Guardian. I had hoped I could train you to eventually replace me. You have such potential. So the decision that had to be made was not easy. But I cannot say anything more. There is something I would like to teach you. It is a technique which, I believe, will aid you in the trials ahead. The philosophy of Force Mastery states that a Jedi's powers are best used without the direct intent to harm another. Here is a form that will aid in that philosophy. Through careful concentration, the duration of many of your Force powers will be enhanced. But be cautious when you face Dark Jedi. This form drains energy quickly and decreases resistance to Force powers. Excellent. I'm impressed with how quickly you've mastered this form. I always knew you were gifted. I'm going to Dantooine. The Jedi Council vowed to assemble again when the Sith revealed themselves. Now that they've attacked Onderon, we can act. Our paths will cross again. May the Force be with you. I'm sorry to keep you here. I needed to thank you personally for all of your help. Onderon owes both you and Master Kavar a debt that can never truly be repaid. Battles still wage in our streets, but by morning the conflict should be over. I recognize you must leave soon, but please, take this. I had also planned on giving you some relics from Onderon's past, but Vaklu's troops looted our museum. I hope the credits and my sincere thanks are enough. Captain Bostuka has made arrangements for a shuttle to take you to your ship. I fear it will be quite some time before you can come back. The war was brief, but destructive. I will focus all of my energy on rebuilding Isis. Thank you again. I must go. If you will follow me, I will take you to your shuttle. It's good to see you've returned safely. What happened on Onderon? I hope that Onderon's new unity of leadership will ensure their continued cooperation with the Republic. We should return to the Ebon Hawk now and plot our next course of action.
Guardian, I would like to speak with you about your assistant. My assistant? Oh, right. What is it? I believe he has it in his head that my relative size is comical. I find his disparaging beeps and whistles to be quite annoying. I thought only utility droids had size issues. If I am to continue to operate with him, I would appreciate it if you spoke with him about this. Otherwise, I will be forced to find a more permanent solution.
Shasa Ajuto Gonkula, Tawinti Malare. Daka Prota Gocha, Jarko Mati Sochbandor. Uba Volpa Holosha, Chub. Something wrong? Go ahead and ask. Feels better to be back here, not cooped up on that ship. Well, Narshada may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to it. Activity, aliens, people, refugees. It's like noise, but relaxing. Like the hum of a hyperdrive. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. I'll believe it when I see it. No thanks. You can keep your Jedi training to yourself. I already know Narshada better than you ever will. Shoot. I didn't kill him once. Biggest mistake ever. Are you sure you want to hear this again? Well, Hanhar and me go way back, in the worst possible way. He's from some forest planet on the Outer Rim where Zerka had set up one of their slaving operations. I don't remember the name. Something with too many K's and Y's. Sounds like you're gargling Ronto spit. No idea. He's just... on her. I hope there aren't any more like... I get the impression he's not a good representative of his people. Some of Voga the Hutt's men said Hanhar killed his own... Well, not for long. Once I'll... I don't know. I always thought he just liked using them as weapons. I don't think he understood the concept of slavery before, at least on the scale that Zerka practiced it. You ever hear of Dursan III, or the ID Cluster colonies? Right, that's because Hanhar happened. He makes what happened to his homeworld look like an exercise in commu- He's not a bounty hunter. He's a slaver. A predator. It's like he's out to enslave or kill every human in the galaxy, like he's trying to set- Anyone who paid credits. And the ones who survived, he sold to the exchange, to the huts, to anyone who'd buy body. He and Voga used to do big crap. I was prey. And not only did I escape, but I saved his life while doing it. He's been hunting me ever since. I don't pretend to understand it, but among his people, but somewhere along the way, his people form these things. Well, with Hanhar, he can't escape that life debt. It's bred into him. But he hates it. So when I saved his life, a life debt to Hanhar is a death sentence. He'll hunt you until you're dead. And so he kept chasing me in hopes... Probably. But if he had multiple life debts, especially to humans, Hanhar would probably go mad. It... Hanhar's tough. Really tough. Seen him shrug off blaster... Oh, I'm glad he's gone. It's like a weight off my shoulders. I don't have to keep watching my back every minute. And he always did. It's like he always... Trust me, if he was still alive, he'd be chasing us even now, waiting to amb... And he always shows up at the worst possible. Well, as happens on Narshada, I made someone mad. Mad enough for them to send Hanhar. Turns out they were even able to get him cheap. Well, he tried to box me down in vents beneath the Narshada docks, and he'd, he'd set one too many proximity mines to cover the escape routes. 
I think he'd hope to drive me into the mines and then let them do the work. Or that I'd be too scared to try and walk through them. Thing is, I knew Hanhar's supplier, and the trigger signatures for the mines. I figured... Like I said, I disarmed the trigger fuses for enough of the mines to get by. I just made... And he survived. He was crawling around, blinded from the flash and the plasma burns. I had the drop on him, and even blind... I think he was begging me to let him... I suppose I should have killed him, but I couldn't do it. He was in pain, and he was helpless, and he kept hunting me ever since. That I would always be prey. Maybe. I've thought about that moment. A lot. Wondered if I would... Talk. Sure, they're easy. That's why I dress like this. When they're looking down to check you out, you can usually smash them on the base of the skull. It's simple. Then start.
I heard that a crime syndicate has worked. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081. So you've returned. What is it? TSF isn't cut out to happen. 